Oh yeah? Well... Now, considering I have to have to be on this weird diet thing, and also my heart rate is quite high at times, sometimes it's as much as 100... well, it was, I had a resting heart rate the other day of just over 100 um, beats per minute, which is a bit, a bit excessive. Um, normally around 70 to 75. And uh, yeah, it, it's been a bit of an issue. So I've been having a few health problems, probably weight related, and that's why I am on a diet. Um, I do suffer with asthma, and I do have to occasionally take um, Ventolin or Becatide. Um, Becatide's one with the steroids, I believe. And there's one here. Okay, and this is a nebulizer. And a nebulizer is a way of atomizing your becatide so it you so when you inhale it it goes into your lungs some people find it difficult with the um, little inhalers to actually breathe it and get it inside <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, some people do find that a little bit awkward um, so I'm going to demonstrate how to use this thing yeah so from the pharmacy what you would normally get is obviously the medication that would come in a box with lots of these in it. This is just I'd use about five in a packet. And when you um, are prescribed one of these, generally you will get a kit. So it's a, a, a nebulizer kit. In this case, you get the pipe, the vessel to hold the um, medication, and uh, a mask. And it's very simple to use. It really is really, really simple. It's not rocket science. Um, but some people have been trying to put the wrong bits and pieces together. So I thought I'd just show you how to do it. So what you have is the mask. You obviously have to wear that. And this bit here plugs into there. So you've got <clears throat> the mask and the um, receptacle for the fluid, which will come out of this. And uh, so that plugs into that like so. And effectively, you're thinking of how you're going to be wearing it. So it's no good like that because effectively it's got a leak. So what you have to do is to make sure that is facing down. Yeah. So as you're using it, that is down because that's got fluid in it. If it's obviously at an angle, it's going to um, leak everywhere. You don't want that, no. So here we go. That's the mask. And then we have this pipe arrangement, which. Plugs into this device here, this little machine. In fact, all that is is a pump, air pump, and that will then atomize the back of tide or the ventolin or whatever you've been given by your doctor. And so, what we do is we get our pipe, make sure it's nice and uh, has pliable, so it's not all in knots like that, because that's obviously not any good, because obviously you could tie yourself in knots, wouldn't you? So, one bit plugs into the that, and the other bit. The other end plugs into that, and both ends, in this case, on this Responix Inspiration Elite Hutch. Hutch? Oh, no, no, sorry, that's just a name that's just put on there for some reason. Because this is, we've got our own, but we've got prescribed one as well, so we basically, you hot, not hot, I don't know what it's like in the, in the UK now, but the, in France, this is literally just um, lent. It's a loan. So um, we have it for about a week or two. So you plug this into here, quite simple, if you like, sorry, get my things out of the way. That plugs onto there like so, so effectively you just quick push that down. They're the same on both ends, in this case, and then the other one, <coughs> I feel very wheezy there. Because I've got a bit of a um, chest infection, I'm quite wheezy there, so it's good time to do it, I reckon. Good time to do it. So you end up with this arrangement. So you have your mask with the um, silicone, I think I believe it's like a silicone type mask, and it goes on like that. <sighs> I am your father. No, that didn't, didn't quite work, did it? Alright, you get the back tide. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> and um, you, you break off the end. So that just twists round, and then the end will come off like so. Yeah, and that opens up. So now it's it has to be used. You can't keep them. Um, otherwise, obviously, it'll go off. So you have your vessel, and you pour your liquid hair into the side of the vessel, not in the middle, into the side of the vessel, around there, okay? 
So you basically drop, 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 drop into there. There you go. And use all that in there like so. You can get, or oh, sometimes they'll prescribe you another liquid, like a sterile liquid to help um, moisten your lungs. But um, I haven't put that on. But it, 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 it's whether or not you get prescribed, it's a bit too complicated as. Um, so now we have the mask with the um, fluid in there, which is the Becatide in this case. It, en français, it's, oh my god, it's Beclometazone? Becametazone? Well, we know it as Becatide. So that's what we'll call it. We'll call it Becatide because it sounds a bit easier to me to call it Becatide. So basically, you wear the mask, like so. Oh, and uh, you turn it on. And you see it's vaporising into the mask. You see that? You hold, if, it, if it's leaky, you hold it on. And what you basically do is you're breathing it right in, deep into your lungs. Really inhale it and bring it right in deep. It's <sighs> laughing, guys. <laughs> That's not. Do so you breathe that way? Don't, don't laugh, you'll blow it all out. It lasts five, ten minutes <clears throat> from the fluid, and you'll see that level. It'll go down and down and down. You can see it moving at the moment. Yeah. And uh, you take a breath. That'll help open up your lungs so you can breathe more easily. A bit like vapor rub or tiger balm, but not as effective. Um, I believe. I might be wrong, but I believe that the, um, can you hear me with this on? <laughs> so I hope you found it of use, and, um, turn it off. I hope you found that of use, and uh, if you want to subscribe and have you, I'd be most appreciative.